If you missed your reality TV fix this week, catch up with the weekly's Married at First Sight recap. This wonderful social experiment where people who have never met get married on TV is run by the experts, which include this guy... A relationship expert for the last 25 years. Not really a thing. And this woman... With over 20 years' experience in the field of clinical sexology... Who had some great tips. And get your groins a little closer. Finally, someone who understands how vital groin proximity is in a marriage. The responsible experts were very careful to pick the right type of people for the experiment. I don't feel comfortable in large public settings. <laughs> my hands shake, my heart races. I haven't even been on a date. Perfect. Can't imagine she'll have a nervous breakdown. Then the experts chose Bryce for her to marry. He was nervous, but had plenty of support from his mates. All I want to hear right now is, you're right, she's going to be good. Literally everything I want to hear. Yeah. Yeah. What a great friend. In another expertly selected couple, we met Beck. He's actually known in my group as the sasshole, which is half sassy, half arsehole. What a catch. Wow. It's like your Princess Diana or something. <laughs> Do you know who that is? No. <laughs> princess Diana? She's got nothing on the sasshole. And when the sasshole met her lucky partner Jake at the altar, she summed things up in her own way. He's looking at me like I am sex on a stick. That sounds painful. The experts continued to prove their worth arranging marriages. There's no doubt she needs someone who's loyal. Well spotted. I would have suggested a backstabbing pervert. But you guys know best. As the wedding days rolled around, the nerves started to show for Brett. So they call this wine. Nope, it's a jacket. But Patrick had more serious problems. I'm excited, but I'm also Shitting carrots. Oh dear. I hope there's a doctor at the wedding. And when it came time to meet the parents, for Samantha and Cameron, not everything went smoothly. Dad, guess, guess, guess what Cameron's job is? He's a crane operator. Oh. <laughs> Dad's not happy. He specifically requested a tech billionaire. And then there was Jason, the unluckiest man ever. I have been cheated on every time. Um. Yeah, every relationship. I think I see a pattern here, Jason. You. We'll check in with the honeymoons next time. But it looks like there was lots of romance. Ooh, like a two-pack. And the endless whispering of sweet nothings well into the wee hours. Definitely when I first saw you, I was like, okay. Not my type, but she's not ugly. <sighs> Join us next time for the weekly's Married at First Sight recap. <laughs>